Good morning, good morning. Mm -mm -mm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark Ferris and I look sunburnt. So today I am doing a eating American foods for 24 hours. There's my hairspray. Oh my god. This is the best hairspray in the world. Hard AF by Bleach London. I'm only eating American food for 24 hours. I'm super excited. For lunch and dinner, we're going a bit crazy. We're going a bit in. So for breakfast, I'm keeping it super simple. Most of you are expecting pancakes. Well, I'm sorry. Lucky charms. Lucky charms. Now these are the treasure of the gods years ago. You could only get them in certain London sweet shops and they would be extortionate. And then you could only get them if you were on holiday or in specialist places. Now they sell them in Tesco's and Sainsbury's. So we're gonna get ourselves a cute little bowl. So I got a Snapple Kiwi Meats Strawberry. I'm super excited about that. And I'm gonna make myself a black coffee. Coffee. Never tell me to do a American accent again. So yeah, I'm making a, a little um, espresso in my Paper Chase Rainbow Mug. Cute. Um. 13% sugars, Jesus Christ. I'm not sure if I actually like that. So this is a double shot espresso. Espresso, sorry, not espresso. Mm, I need to drink this with a straw as well. Because I'm white in my teeth. Have I told you lately that I love you? Let's pour the bowl of cereal. Alexa. Play Van Morrison, have I told you lately that I love you? Shuffling songs by Van Morrison on Amazon Music. No! Alexa! Alexa! Play Have I Told You Lately. Zoom. Oh, these little marshmallows. Mm. Cereal should not taste this good. I know it's full of sugars, but... I'm not sure how I feel about the Snapple. It's okay, the aftertaste is a bit weird. But the cereal, oh my god, the cereal. Made a great choice there. I'm gonna have this for lunch and dinner too. No, I'm joking. So I'm going into town now to do a few bits. I'm gonna see if there's anything I can get while I'm out. That would be nice. I guess we'll see. I'm thinking like a milkshake or something. Like a nice big American milkshake to fill the void between breakfast and lunch. So I'm currently in Shake Shack, which is American. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And I've decided to go for the Pride Shake, which is amazing. And I think one pound goes to the Mosaic LGBT Youth Charity, which is amazing. So I'm just waiting for that. I get one of these little machines and it tells me when the shake is ready. So. Oh, looking in public still so awkward, but I've got to do it. Someone's got to do it, mate. I've never had Shake Shack before, but I'm really excited. So here it is, guys, the Rainbow Shake Shack with cake batter um, for Pride. I love it. I think it's so cute. Okay, guys. Oh, it's thick. It's a very thick milkshake. Oh. Mmm. It literally tastes like a birthday cake and the toppings are like quite crunchy. Oh, it's just so thick. Seeing this has been my first milkshake, I have to say, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. This literally tastes like I'm drinking a birthday cake and I'm really happy about that. I definitely give this a 10 out of 10. There's like the cutest older couple in front of me, like holding hands, singing to this song. So cute. I've had a lot of birthday cake tasting things. This is by far the best I've ever had. Usually I find like birthday cake things quite sickly, but this 
is going down a tree. I'm literally like so emotional about these, this elderly couple in front of me. So guys, it's a little bit later on now. I'm on my way to my parents' house. As you know, if you watch these videos, I've always got to make a stop off to see my little baby doggy, Teddy. See ya. And uh, cause I haven't seen her in a while. It's been like three days. And obviously see my mom and dad, cause I love them. So yeah, I'm gonna go see them. And then I think I'm gonna go somewhere where I have never been before. And that is Taco Bell. They have recently, I think, come over to um, England. So that is probably, you can't get more American than Taco Bell. Um, I wanna know what the hype is all about. I'm excited to try it. I'm gonna go crazy. Um, well, as crazy as I can be. Also, I'm thinking of dyeing my hair. Like, my hair's dark, but I think I wanna go darker. Al almost black. But like really dark brown, okay? Not black. So I want to do that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Hello. You alright? Nice to see you. Thank you. Hello. Hey guys, so I've just arrived. Um, unfortunately, it is not a drive through so it's just a shop. Um, I'm not going to take my camera into town because um, it's in Croydon, so I'm not going to film because it's Croydon. Um, I feel like I'm allowed to say that because I've lived here and grown up here my whole life. And uh, I just feel I just feel a little bit nervous whacking my camera out and vlogging. So I'm just going to go hard and heavy, going to get loads of cheesy fries, I'm going to get like nachos, I'm going to get loads of burritos and tacos and everything. I'm super excited and I shall see you in three two one oh my god guys hi how are you so guys i am back hi how are you doing i hope you miss me this i got a lemon freeze i went absolutely crazy oh yeah i got let's try these these should be Illegal. Now I know why everyone's obsessed with Taco Bell. Mmm. So this is the sour cream and melted cheese fries, which are delightful. I just love this melty cinema cheese. First reason why I love Taco Bell is that they don't hold short on the old cheese and sauce. Mmm. I will come back to that. Jesus. Amazing. I'll come back to you, my little angels. Got the, the nachos, which anyone who knows me knows how much I love nachos. This isn't real. I don't feel like I'm in England. Oh my God. So I've got the beef, I've got the chicken, I've got the guac. Like, This should be illegal. Oh. Oh my god. I definitely got way too excited and I forgot I was in a car park, hence raking up the parking space money. Um, so I've had to ditch. I'm so sad that I had to rush off because I was really enjoying that. These Doritos or tor tortillas, tortillas, <laughs> um, they are absolutely stunning. I will not be surprised if they're made illegal anytime soon because they taste incredible. Also, I really like the lemon ice blast, lemon freeze thing. It just, it's so sweet. It can't be good for the old chops if you have them more than once a week. Um, or like a few times. Hi, section, anti is just reopened. Do you mind? But initial thoughts on the old nachos and <sighs> bay fries. The fries were like like salted, but like that really nice sort of salt, like the peri peri salt, I think. Um, with the melted cheese and the sour cream. Melted cheese, the sour cream, I'm sold on anything. I will literally guzzle up. 
I absolutely hate that word guzzle. I will literally just devour in seconds. And the nachos obviously had a few bites. I didn't get any of the juicy bits. Um, I think I went for pulled pork. I can't remember why I ordered because I went insane. I just was waking up. I just completely forgot that I was in the car park and I you have to pay for a car park. And obviously there was someone behind me trying to get in and I was like, I can't literally sit in a space and have a good old merry meal while they're trying to do their shopping. <laughs> right, so on the way back home, I will, I will see you then. Oh my God. Oh, cheese everywhere. Cheese everywhere. This looks absolutely insane. Got the quesadillas. We've got the tacos. We've got the cinnamon twirls. We've got the wraps. Oh my God. So let's go back to the nachos because that's what we missed. I don't live too far from Croydon, but that felt like the longest journey of my life. Because I knew I had all this amazing food next to me. I'm gonna need a fork. Oh my god. I'm kind of worried I've had Taco Bell now. Because how do I ever go back? This is such a nice, well full out tub of nachos. There's nothing worse than someone who scrimps on the sauce and the toppings. They just don't care in there. They pile it all on. Okay, moving on to this big boy. This is the pulled pork, um, cheesy lettucey taco. So it's got like the tortilla with bean in it. There's like bean in between the taco and the, the wrap. I do not like this. Oh no. I shouldn't have added the beans. See, there's the meat, but the beans ruin it. Why did I add the beans? I ate a lot of it though. Oh. The beans are so moist, but they feel dry. What's this? What's this? I've forgotten what this is. Oh my God. There's chocolate and marshmallow in there. No, that's dessert. I'm sorry, but I hate that. I ate more than half of it, but I like to give it a good go. Wait for my mouth to catch up with my brain and my taste. So in here we have a big old boy, a big wrap. Mmm, my God. So in here we have sour cream, we've got chicken, we've got lettuce, we've got cheese. Rice. Oh, baby. And not a black bean in sight. I do not like you, I'm so sorry. I gave you a chance. This is nice. I could have a million of these. Probably won't. That is a big quesadilla. In here we have chicken. And cheese. Mmm. Spicy chicken. And a nice spicy sauce. But not too spicy. This quesadilla has a kick to it. But I love it. Okay, look. Oh, that's so unhealthy. There's something quite Nando-y, nando about this. Okay, so moving on to the desserts. We have churros with the... Are they okay? With the toffee sauce. 
Um, so these are cinnamon things, I think. Yeah, cinnamon. I've never had a churro before. Why have they given me, like, no sauce? Wow. I can't speak. Okay, so the quesadillas, nachos, the cheesy fries, and the chur chur churros are definitely things that I will be coming back to Taco Bell to have. Also, these massive things are also cinnamon, cinnamony, sweet cinnamon twirls. This is like deep fried air. They're like prawn crackers, but with cinnamon on them. Um. They're strangely addictive, which I'm worried about. But they're like those salt and vinegar swirls thing, but like massive. Like if I was a borrower, this is what they would look like. Moving on to this, which is insane. It's marshmallow and chocolate in a wrap. I already took a bite. It's the most perfect chocolate as well. It literally tastes like dairy milk chocolate. I think this was like a pound or something. I can't believe they only gave me one little squirt of sauce. Mmm. Oh, heaven. Oh, the jacket's come off. The jacket has come off. Oh, the jacket has come off. That was a lot. But absolutely amazing. I give that an eight out of 10. I think because I wasn't aware of what some of the things were. I know there's some absolute avid Taco Bell fans out there. I've lost my breath. They will be able to tell me what to order next time. Sorry, I'm resting like this. Oh, I feel like I've got chocolate all around my teeth. I'm really upset about the churros, but maybe that was a sign for me to slow down because that sauce and those churros were amazing. Good evening. Oh no, you feel so far away from me. This is the new setup for cooking with Mark. This is how it's gonna be from now on. Cooking videos, making sure I'm cooking things right. Get off the counter, it's dirty. Give that a good clean. So guys, for dinner I'm going for a traditional Southern American dinner. We are gonna have red cabbage, fried chicken, and macaroni and cheese. Apart from fried chicken, I don't have that often, but coleslaw and macaroni and cheese, I'm your boy. Little macaroni, so cute. Grated mozzarella, grated mature cheddar for the macaroni and cheese, that's it. That's what we're gonna do. I went for the bird's eye. It said southern fried chicken on it, and I don't know how else to make fried chicken. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to upset anyone. So that's that. Red cabbage, white cabbage, red cabbage, a side of vinegar, chili mayonnaise, slab of mustard, and some onions and a garlic. I'll make a coleslaw for you. Coleslaw is my favorite thing. I've never made it before, but we're gonna see how we get on, okay? Oh my good God. I just pulled my bloody handle off. That's not good at all. Good job I've got a screw in it. Got a screw loose, didn't I? Yeah. God's sake, man. I mean, this flat is falling to pieces, I tell you that for free. So the handle's not going back on. Another thing I need to talk to my landlord about. Um, looking forward to that being solved in the next 30 years. Watch me boss this. No awkward moments of the day. So what you need to do is cut your cabbage in half. Maybe use a bigger knife. Voila. Oh, I love red cabbage. I love your cabbage. Break it apart and throw it in this bowl, okay? Stay with me, guys. We want it to be messy, okay? So we're just gonna rip and tear. Just separate it. I want it to be thick and crunchy. I need to preheat the oven. 
for 15 minutes. This is gonna be a very simple dish that anyone can do, especially Mark Ferris. Next, we're gonna take the garlic. I love garlic so much. Good job I'm not kissing anyone because I would stink of garlic. <laughs> I'm in that sort of crisis at the minute where I really, really fancied someone, but they're sort of annoying and I feel really mean. Like, really mean. And you guys know I'm not mean, but you know when you fancy someone and they just do a couple of things and you're like... That's how I feel right now. But like, you just have to go with your gut. The gut is the most important meal of the day. <laughs> it's the most important feeling in the world. So we're just gonna crush this garlic. I like to use a big fat spoon. Crack it in there. No, it doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to make sense at all. So I've done two cloves of garlic, an onion, chop it right down the centre. Gonna crack on with making the macaroni cheese. Boil the water. Put a pinch of salt in it. Try not to cry while I was cooking this onion. Break that apart. Then we're gonna use our hands to throw this about. So next we're gonna add our apple cider vinegar. Just gonna coat that, Jesus. And then the chili mayonnaise. Oh my God, it smells so good. Gonna use our friendly little claw and just shove it about. Spin it around. I'm spinning around, get out of my way. Ah. Right, let's put this on. I don't want too much macaroni. I've had enough cheese and pasta to last me a lifetime. Hey. Gonna put the tiniest bit of mustard original, original English in this. Just for a little kick. Oh my god. Gonna dish up the coleslaw. Okay, so I also bought some Virgil's root beer low sodium using natural ingredients. I don't know if this is alcoholic. Um, I've never had root beer in my life, but I know it's very American. I know they do like root beer floats. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop, I'm gonna get copyrighted. It is now Tuesday night when you're watching this. I hope your Monday was great. Four more days to the weekend because this is going up at half six, seven-ish. We never know on this channel. This smells like medicine. Good. You sure I can drink this? And I've just realised I use a bottle opener, but I can I could have screwed it. I'm screwed it. I screwed it. This is vile. I do not like root beer, but I drink it. Beer's a beer in it, lads, lads, lads. This is not even alcoholic though. It's growing on me. Oh, I am quite enjoying this. It's just very weird and tastes a bit like medicine. I'm gonna have a little sing song. I wish you could join me, but I don't wanna get copyrighted because I've got to earn a living. I hope you understand. So the, um, oh, hi. So the macaroni is now done and cooked. We're going to put it in one of these little bowls. We're gonna, um, we're gonna get rid of the water. We're gonna put the cheese in and then we're gonna put it on this and cover it with more cheese and breadcrumbs. Oh. Food porn. So guys, this is my take. This is the coleslaw. This is the, oh, macaroni and cheese. Look at that. And the chicken, the southern fried chicken. Oh my God, guys, this food looks so good. I'm gonna start with the mac and cheese, obviously. Oh my God, I make the best mac and cheese. I'm sorry, I know it's so simple. Oh my God, and the coleslaw is so good. See, I don't fail at everything when it comes to cooking. Just certain things. Mmm. <laughs> I've gone silent. I've gone silent, you can always tell when I like food because I go so quiet. Mmm. So anyway guys, 
If you've enjoyed this video, once again, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps. I really appreciate it. I love you so much, and I will see you very soon next Tuesday. Bye, guys.